Broad Spectrum is a, is a national company. We're over 12,000 employees um, and uh, we work in four major sectors. The first is the resources sector, uh, which we've been in for lots of years, um, the transport sector, utilities, and of relevance to us here is defence and social infrastructure. And so we're pretty much across uh, all of the infrastructure services across Australian community and across the business sector. But what I'm doing is leveraging out of some of our work in, in resources, transport and utilities into the maritime sustainment base. And we've also had a long-term engagement in shipbuilding in this country, be it in Techport or going back to the old days of the Anzac build in Williamstown. And so we're looking to, uh, to leverage back into that game and doing a lot of work in that space at the moment. Our biggest opportunity is to leverage what we've done in the resources sector where we can deliver absolute surety of availability and reliability, which is necessary in the resources sector. You know, the financial penalties are so extreme, you have to have surety of delivery. But we can do that at extremely low price, which makes a great value offering to the client. And we can see that, and from my experience, I can see that if we can leverage the technologies and the processes we use in that sector across into the maritime sustainment environment, then there's a great opportunity for Navy in particular to sustain its fleet at a reduced and reasonable cost. Small businesses are extremely important to Broad Spectrum. As a national company, we've got a footprint you know, all around the country, but we need to engage with all of the small businesses to support a lot of the, the activities that we perform right around the country. The way we set about going and engaging them is we have a very robust process where we do an industry scan, we talk to people who are working in the industry, we hunt out all the companies that we can find, obviously web searches, we obviously use the ADM magazines, uh, industry of defence suppliers, um, all those sorts of sources of information. We then start distilling those down and uh, conduct a due diligence on those companies, understanding their financials. Um, we look at their culture, um, their values, so that we know that we can work with them. We're looking for partners who we can take risk on their behalf, but are who are also prepared to take performance risk um, in their engagement with us so that we are a true and integrated partner and the client can see that we're working as a unified uh, whole. We, we, uh, we spend $1.6 billion per annum on procurement. We have an, uh, an index of suppliers of 10,000 companies across Australia. So I've got a lot of mass there, but we, we always start by going beyond that uh, existing index to see what else is out in the market so we can bring those small businesses back into the fold and make sure that we're delivering to the client the best possible solution, um, engaging the small businesses wherever we can. Very important to us. Broad Spectrum is a big company, firstly has innovation as one of our core values, and so that's built into our DNA in a lot of respects. And we apply that, and I'm going to talk, uh, for a company of our size, there's a lot of product innovation, but there's also a lot of process innovation. And I'm going to draw another example out of the resources sector where there is a large uh, uh, industrial facility um, in and around Sydney that uh, we've been working at for, for about five years where we've significantly driven down the maintenance costs and uh, also we've taken performance risk on all of the customers' core KPIs, including their sales. So that's incentivised us to work very tightly with them um, and also make sure that we're hitting those availability reliability targets. And through engagement with the client and through focus on, on what's important in maintenance, and to be fair, there's some maintenance tasks that we haven't performed because they're not important to delivering the output of that facility, we've yeah. been able to really drive down the maintenance cost and drive up their output and their products and therefore their sales. So it's been a mutually beneficial arra arra arrangement for both companies. Pacific is the preeminent conference, uh, certainly in the Asia Pacific region for maritime engagement. Um, the number of companies that are exhibiting here, the number of, of Australian defence personnel, the number of SMEs, but also the number of, uh, of foreign companies coming through here at Pacific. It is just a terrific forum to engage with everyone in the maritime industry, be they naval or the merchant marine, and I think that's very important as well. Um, it's just a terrific forum to get your brand out there, to get your profile elevated, um, and to just engage and hunt out business opportunities. It's, it's a fantastic place to be.